I welcome you to St. Lawrence this evening. I'm Father Peter Gallagher. I'm the pastor here of St. Lawrence. I've come to know these two for the last seven years, and I still like them. <laughs> I came here seven years ago and began, began as pastor of St. Lawrence and began to meet people and it's interesting how God throws people as a priest into the course of your life. The next day after I made my announcement at Cardinal Ritter where I was teaching, I was given the high school Cardinal Ritter's football schedule for the fall. And the first game was at Lawrenceburg. And I said, I'm not driving to God-forsaken Lawrenceburg for a football game. And literally the next day, the Archbishop called and said, I need you to consider going to St. Lawrence in Lawrenceburg as pastor because the pastor who's assigned there has chosen to go somewhere else, and would you? Now, I'm a great believer in the providence of God and God's workings. And so I dutifully, the next day after that, drove down here and when I came over the levee, I saw, first of all, the beautiful bell tower of St. Lawrence and across the street, Lawrenceburg High School's football field. And when I pulled out front, I got out of the car and said, I get it, I'm not in charge. the wrong person. <laughs> no, no, I'm mad at you right now. <laughs> You're a cool kid. <laughs> looks so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, take this ring. The sign of my love. The sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Matthew, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. Matthew, take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. And the first thing I would like to do is have Jess lay her hand down on the table. And then Matt, you can lay your hand on top of hers. And I'm taking Matt's phone. <laughs> and we're going to take a picture of this. Because this is the last time Matt's ever going to have the upper hand. <laughs> Through the window, I see you waiting, you are smiling, cause I'm coming, you rise your story, a notion of... One of the earliest memories I have of Matt of him sneaking into my room, stealing my hidden candy stash, deleting the last save of my video game. <laughs> no matter how many times I would tell him not to go in there, or beat him up, he would keep going, and I would keep catching him because he never threw the candy wrappers away. We have it all.
now's the time where I'm supposed to switch over to his good qualities and make everybody feel good. So, that brings me to Jess. <laughs> Matt, and, Matt and Jess met about six years ago during a Girl Scout cookie sale gone awry. Little did they know the path they were about to go down. Through dramatic high school, seeming things that would never end, Matt decided to join the Marine Corps, putting another strain on their relationship. So many people have had high school sweethearts, so many people have entered the military, and so many haven't made it. But these two makes me think of a great saying that is not widely known. Absence, while he was in the mil military and gone in the Marine Corps, absence diminishes minor passions and inflames great ones as the wind douses a candle and fans a fire. Toast with friends, a soldier coming home from war, a faith, a hope for so much more. A brand new life, a mother's prayer, shooting stars. I think about the time we had the gym opened up for us, the day he graduated high school, to make sure he hit his goal that we had been working for to bench. 335 pounds. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it is right. I believe he got 355 that morning. Along the way, we have become more than siblings. We've become best friends. And even more importantly, brothers. Brothers aren't just born of the same mother and raised in the same household. Brothers are made being there for each other, no matter what the circumstances. I can't put into words how honored I am to be standing here. I would just like to say thank you guys for all coming out and um, and congratulations to Jesse and Matt and I have a surprise for you guys. <laughs> Yo Damon, let's kick it. Ice, ice baby. She's got some nice ice baby. Alright stop, drop your forks and listen. I'm Tori, the bride's little sister, older, and near she may be, but we're still just looking like babies, shy, she may seem like it, but this girl is full of excitement, always got coupons, getting wild, sprint through Walmart, going out to buy Black Friday, those crowds ain't nothing, cause when she said she started going shopping, her apostle went through that day, should have seen a school picture, outfit in that grade, love, can't leave it, you better warn my, you seen her shoe collection, the pie went flat. If there's a problem, here's how to solve it. Just tell her by it. That should resolve. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> Check out her nice ice baby. She married a nice, nice baby. We see that ice, ice baby. Now that the wedding is over and Matt has picked his four leaf clover, quick to stove meat loaf he's making. Why she's frying up some eggs and bacon morning. Her favorite part of day, cause she's waking up next to her bay doctors. Dad's at fire, scared of needles, she's quite the crier. So smart and so kind, better watch out, she's got a great mind. Such a good sister, never miss my games. Always trying to call mom when she go up and plays. Moving to newly bought home, got a baby can't, can't wait to let a womb. Wait a sec, from what I've heard, even though he's cute, he's quite the turd. Baby doll, she'd hold when sleepy, glad that's over, it was super creepy, jealous. Cause my sister's so fine, Jess is a tit and I'm only rockin' nine. Beadwork, she got it down pat, when she's making money, her wallet's never flat. Matt, the love of her life, now they got each other, should be a great wife. First date, my Jess went skiing, must have went good, he kept her from fleeing. Honish, all the strap, fireworks to stack, dedication, motivation, she never did last. 
If there's a problem, here's how to solve it. Just tell her buy it. That should resolve it. Ice, ice, baby. She's got that ice, ice, baby. She married a nice, nice baby. We see her ice, ice, baby. So, before I give my cheers, I'll share a little wisdom that I got from my peers. Give glory to God and eyes towards heaven. He's got a plan, Jeremiah 20, 11. Pray for this family you love and bring lots of little blessings from above. Give more than you take. It's a wonderful concept. Put more uh, concept with this. <laughs> this thing's we made. Be quick for to give and always there at eight. Time goes by in a flash. Better make it count because today could be your last. We've kept our composure. Now it's time to let loose. Here's just a couple of kids. Grab your juice. May the grass be green and your eyes be blue. Bless everybody here and may God bless you. <laughs> <laughs>